we have Newcastle United superstar Sean and Matty Longstaff. Lads, great to see you. You were the winners last year. Um, what are your chances this year, do you think? Uh, oh, I'm not too sure about this year. I think the handicaps have been uh, tweaked a little bit, but um, to be fair, it should be good fun. We're, we're looking forward to it. Hopefully, we're, we're dark and get round 18. We're not, <laughs> not too uh, hopeful of it, but uh, <laughs> no, it, it should be good. Um, and it, obviously, it's, it's a great day for, for the Warriors, and we're just happy to be here. Do you think we were tweaked just to give everyone else a chance this year? Uh, I think there's big rumours Paul's done it so he can win in it and his team, but uh, they're just rumours. <laughs> Paul cheating, that doesn't sound like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, obviously being professional footballers, when you're not playing or training, it does give you that time to, to sort of work on your handicap, so that must sort of give you an advantage in some ways. Yeah, I, I guess so. I think we're, we do tend to play a little bit, especially when the, the weather's nice. It's It's a good way to get out and sort of pass the time. I think it's something we're... We both enjoy it's better than sitting in the house, so we we do love a, a game to be yeah. fair. So probably play three, four times a week. So now we <laughs> we do like to get out for a game to be fair. That's uh, obviously nice that you've got that being brothers as well. It's something that you can do in your spare time. Um, you're both obviously big hockey fans. Makes sense with your your dad being the player coach of the Warriors. But uh, as fans of a game, has it been just as frustrating? as the rest of us not the not the Seaver Warriors because I mean in terms of your careers it's not really stopped you playing football but it obviously has for, for the Warriors yeah, I think the biggest thing for us is kind of we go down and watch all the training sessions and obviously we've got a, a lot of friends on the team so it's not being able to go and see them and stuff it's been uh, obviously not great and I think the boredom's kicked in for, for a lot of people I think for us we, we love going home our way on, on a Sunday or Saturday to watch them play so not being able to do it um, obviously hasn't been great but hopefully things are looking a bit better at the minute so hopefully we can get back to, to going and watching them uh, sooner rather than later. Yeah like you say it's probably more of a social thing isn't it for, for a lot of well yourselves and, and for the lads in the room. Um, now I understand this year is a trophy and uh, we've they, they got the engraver ready so do you think you'll be able to get your names back on there? Uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm not too hopeful, um, <laughs> but you never know. I think we're just happy that we won it last year, the, the first one. It's, that was the most important one for us to win. Um, hopefully, they can get with name or get with names, get with names put on it from from last year. Um, but like I said, it's more just about coming out, seeing people you haven't seen in a, a long time, and um, just being around the, the sort of the hockey family because it's a, it's a it's a really good group of people, and it's obviously like I said, me and Matty love sort of being around it and, and being around ice hockey. Yeah, and obviously that's that's great to see. Um, being professional sportsman, I suppose you're used to that not a dressing room banter as well, aren't you? Um, yeah, definitely. I think it's uh, <coughs> probably one of the things that, especially my dad, is that you'll miss when you're tired. I think we'll both be the same. That kind of togetherness that you have and, and the banter that you, that you create in the chain room that you probably end up missing once you once you retire. Having a dad who has been playing at such a high level for Great Britain, have you sort of um, has that prepared you for being? professional sportsman in that environment is it less daunting because you've sort of grown up in that environment almost uh, he likes to think he's helped with, <laughs> um, <laughs> we like to tell him that we're sort of surpassed him a little bit now in terms of the level that we play at compared to him but um, I have, a, <laughs> have a good bit of banter about it but but like you've said the fact that he's sort of played at a, a high level and he's, he's been there and experienced the highs and lows um, it's great for us that when we do go through them. He's, he knows the right thing to say. He knows when to give a, a kick up the backside when we need it, and he knows when to, to put an arm around her, which is the the most important thing. Um, so, so like you said, the fact that he's sort of had these experiences before us does does help us a lot. And I think you can sort of tell um, by being around her that he's had a, a, a really big effect on our on our careers. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine so. Um, just before we sign off, I've got um, some friends who are based in Dallas who were part of the Toon Army Dallas fan club. They get up at 6am in the morning for a lot of the games to watch you guys. So could we just get a, a quick shout out to, to Cheryl Moon if that's possible? You want to do it? Uh, big shout out to, what's it? Cheryl Moon. to Cheryl Moon for uh, for getting up and watching all the games. I appreciate the, the support. and. Uh, what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> no, to be fair, like I said, the fact that people get up all around the world is, is crazy um, and something that we we'll massively appreciate. So thanks for all the support and uh, hopefully they can get over to England and get into St James's ah, Park exactly. soon. I'm sure that's uh, on the agenda for them, but thanks lads, appreciate ah, it. I know they'll appreciate it over right, in Texas. So thank problem. you very much for